the hair is getting high again. Look at that, gee, Minnie. And the farmer's tan, I just mowed the lawn. I put on sunscreen, what am I gonna do? I don't know, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, I mowed the lawn. It's time to cool off with some mentholated stuff today, all right? I was gonna show you some of that Japanese stuff, but uh, don't have time to do that today, we'll do that soon. And I forgot I gotta open up that Barbasol menthol that, was, that I purchased from probably the 1960s. I just noticed it again. So anyway, let's stick with menthol. Let's do some cold fusion from Wet the Face, Donald Youngner up there, making some crazy, woo, mentholated shaving soap. But first I'm gonna lather up with the cube, the original cube. Now this is the, uh, I think it's the ice cube, this one. This is from, uh, yeah, this is the ice cube. Ooh, it's a pre-shave soap, but someone said you could use it to uh, lather with. So let's just try to see if we can lather with this first, as if it was like a shave stick. And we'll get some menthol from that. And what am I gonna shave with? Oh my, I forgot to choose which razor I was gonna shave with. What do we got here? Do we have the Rockwell? The Rockwell's loaded up and I haven't used that. The Rockwell 6S, uh, also very grungy because I use this all the time. And what am I gonna do? Wash it after every single, it's like taking a drive and washing your car after every drive. It ain't gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna use my little signature brush from DS Cosmetics and uh, finish off with some of the old, the rub. We've got the Osage rub here. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair, as you can tell. I'm gonna have to put one of those, maybe if I squish it down just a little bit. I mean, that's, come on, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm put some hot water on my hair. Put some hot water on my hair? Is that what I just said? I'm gonna put some lukewarm water on my face. Yeah. I did not shave yesterday because I went swimming and, uh, you know, just didn't shave. All right, so I'm gonna take the ice cube. This is from uh, Phoenix Shaving Artisan accoutre Accoutrement. Accoutrement, accoutrement fancy. And I'm gonna get it a little bit wet and then I'm just gonna rub it on my whiskers. And you can see that I got whiskers. Hopefully you can see. Oh, so many people that just come across my, one of my, you know, more viewed shaving videos. They're like, you don't, you don't have any whiskers to shave. It's like, what do they expect? What are they looking for when they shave? Do they have like a full, like, you know, hillbilly beard down to here? Now it's time to shave my gum. Well, I tell you what, I shave just about every day, so my whiskers are that big. All right, look at the lines. See the whiskers. The lines prove the whiskers, <laughs> I guess. You know that old saying, you know it. All right, this thing is slippery, man. I'm gonna put it right here on the edge and wash my hands, because I'm not gonna be able to hold anything. Oh. Got something in my eye. All right, so there we go. It's kind of like a shave stick. And let's see if it'll lather up, just for fun. Oh, look at that. By gum, it sure does. Why am I talking like a, like a, I don't know. Why am I talking like that? Like the Hatfields and McCoys all of a sudden. Look at that. Not only is it a pre-shave soap, it's also a shaving soap. Now it might not be the easiest. I put a ton on here. And normally if you would use that much of like a shaving stick, then it, uh, then it wouldn't, you know, it would take a lot less to, uh, to get a good big lather, but hey, that's not bad. I will jump to the, uh, the cold fusion in a minute, but I just wanted to see if that would work for the first pass. And it did. Now it's a little stronger. If you get a little bit of that in your mouth, it's a little bit stronger. So not as mild as normal shaving soaps are like the really good quality ones. The artisanal. Everything's so artisanal now. Oh, I make my own artisanal bitters. Oh, do you? Well, good. I'm glad. I actually had a lovely cocktail last night called a Blood and Sand. Have you ever heard of that? If you like scotch and you like cherry and you like orange juice, and I think there's a little bit of vermouth in it. Actually, you know, this is not very slick this uh, shaving soap as far, well, it's supposed to be, right? Maybe I'm just feeling it. Anyway, blood and sand cocktail. Look it up and try it out. Now, you probably won't have the ingredients uh, except for scotch and uh, maybe vermouth and orange juice. But then the other ingredient is cherry hearing. And that's a, uh, it's not a real, it's not like maraschino cherry flavor, but it does have, it's a, a liqueur, I believe that they add to that it is such a pleasant, refreshing, kind of fruity cocktail. I don't mean fruity in the fruity, I mean it's good, it's just good. Blood, blood and sand. Try it out, that's an old one. 
He was invented in New York City in the 1930s, and I love those old cocktails. Remember when all that cocktail culture just started coming out, like in the early 2000s? People became mixologists. They weren't bartenders anymore. Oh, then it was the good old days. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, this is mentholated. I am feeling it where I've already shaved. Oh, man. My eyes were starting to water. Yeah, one of these hot, sweaty days. When you're mowing your yard, I gotta fix my mower too. My little, one of the cables broke off, so I'm gonna have to, I ordered one and got it, but I got the wrong one. There's two and I ordered the wrong dang one. So that's lawnmower talk. Thank you for joining me here on lawnmower talk with the lawnmower man. Great movie, by the way. Lawnmower Man, fan, it wasn't a good movie. Okay, whew. And that wasn't even the, the, the cold fusion. That was just the ice cube, which is also very mentholated. Man alive, I'm gonna actually wash out my brush so I can lather up the cold fusion on its own, unadulterated. Now this is kind of a soft, squishy one, so you just kind of dip your the tips of your bread. It's almost like toothpaste uh, consistency. So just dip a little bit in there. It doesn't have to be too much. And then put a little bit more water on there. And then that may have been too much water and not enough soap. But this is the second pass. So I'm just going for a little light, a light dusting, if you will, of shaving cream. Although it is not dusty at all. Yeah, I put too much water there. See, this is what too much water in a lather looks like, really thin. But since it's my second pass, I'm not worried too much about it. It should give me the leftover slickness from the ice cube. You can hear a lot more whiskers on this second pass, which makes me think I need a new blade. I think I've used this, there's a, sorry, there's a feather blade in here, which I mean, you can just, Unless I tell you, just assume there's a feather blade in my razor. Because that's one thing I don't necessarily feel the need to try out different things. Like, oh, you got to try this new blade. It's like, well, is it as sharp <clears throat> and good as the feather? Maybe. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I have lots of different blades. Derby blades and Bic and Rockwell blades and everything else. <clears throat> Pardon me. Woo! I'm telling you, this menthol is getting to me. I may have gone a little too far <clears throat> in the other direction. I feel like I'm gonna have a coughing fit. Hold on for Oh man, Woo. One of those ones where it's a combination of a lot of menthol and allergies and you just mow the lawn and <laughs> Woo. coughing and Sniffling, my eyes are watering from the menthol. This is just, this is real pretty. This is, I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you tuned into this one. <clears throat> it's making my voice go all funny. I think I had an allergic reaction to something. Wow. Maybe there's cat hairs in that. Uh, I'm not allergic to cats. Okay. There's part two. Woo! Mentholated. It's really probably too much. Probably too much. Oh, man. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to go back one more time. I'm just going to get a little bit more, just for fun, just for the heck of it. Oh, man. Yeah. Oof. Man, I feel like my eyes are red. There's tears streaming down my face. <laughs> She's terrible. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but still go safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely crying now. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Oh boy. Woo! Yeah, I can also tell with this blade. This is the last shave for this blade. <clears throat> I can't remember how many I've done, maybe three, four, perhaps. Oh man.
you're watching a man being overwhelmed by menthol. I haven't had menthol in a long time. I mean, not this much. <clears throat> Laugh it up, fuzzball. I hear you out there. I hear you saying, well, you did it to yourself, Sinatra, and I'm, I agree, I did. I'm not blaming anyone but me. The buck stops here, as they say. Take responsibility for your mistakes, folks. I always like to give out dadly advice. Take responsibility for your mistakes. Even if your pride gets in the way, do it anyway. Ooh, I got a couple of bloody nicks. Oh, man, this is one heck of an episode. Wow. I'm going to need a break after this. Woo! All right. I ain't done yet, folks. I'm going to put... Oh, I can't put cold water on. It's going to make my head pop off. It's so cold. Oh, I'm just... I'm, like, putting water on my whole face right now. My eyes and everything. i got to blow my nose after this. Oh, man. Pardon me. Woo! Oh, gosh. And then I'm just surrounded with it. Oh. Oh. I'm glad I'm not using the cold diffusion aftershave. Because that would be like the coup de gras, you know? That's French for, uh, that's all she wrote. <laughs> not really. I'm just kidding. Oh. All right. <sighs> Osei Drub. The, the least mentholated thing I've got here today. <clears throat> Oh, man. Woo! I'm going to have to go lay down. Lie down, lay down. I said, I'm really good in English, but those two I always forget. And my wife always reminds me. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm going to go, like, pop my head off and shake it and clean it off and dry it off and all that stuff. But I hope you found some sort of enjoyment out of this. <laughs> out of my pain and suffering. I'm going to have to stop these little nicks if I can just by doing this. And uh, it, that's it. All right, everybody. Have a good weekend. This is just me stopping the bleeding. Uh, have a great day. And uh, I'll see you all on Monday with something new. I'm not sure what. Maybe, that, maybe I'll bring the Japanese stuff out from that uh, Japanese store that had a few shaving items, but no razors, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But there are some little trimmers that I'll show you. <laughs> all right. See ya.